This is Shira Ovide with the Wall Street Journal in San Francisco. We got breaking news on Wednesday that the chief operating officer of Zanga has stepped down from his post. I'm here with Shane DeRace to talk more about it. How are you? Good. So tell us what's happened and why. So Zynga, the social game maker, uh, has um, had some news today. The COO, John Chappert, quit. Uh, I don't even know if he came into the office today. I reached him this afternoon at his home. Uh, he quit today, and the resignation took effect immediately. Um, and this is obviously you know, part of the continuation of some problems that Zynga has had. Um, their stock has been tanking recently. They had some really disappointing earning results last week. And in the wake of all of that, the CEO, Mark Pincus, has um, started an effort to revamp the company, um, try to focus more on a multi-platform approach rather than just games on Facebook, try to create phones, uh, games for mobile phones and, um, and tablets. And uh, as part of that, he's decided he wants to take more control of the company, more control of the products. And so last week, he actually demoted uh, John Chappert, the COO, and took away some of his responsibilities. And so uh, apparently, uh, John Chappert didn't like that very much, and so he quit today. <laughs> okay, very good. And how do you think investors will react to this news, as you said, on the heels of some disappointing financial results and a stock price that has performed poorly since the IPO last fall? You know, they could take this two ways. Um, I think in the after-hour trading, it was down a little bit more, and so it's definitely a sign of volatility at the company. It's a sign that the company is struggling and, um, you know, really trying to get back on its feet. But in that same way, you know, maybe they would see this as the company taking some decisive action um, to, you know, do something about the problem that they're in because they definitely are in a problem. And I think for a very long time, um, you know, Mark Pincus didn't want to admit that problem. And if you would ask him about relying too heavily on Facebook, he really wouldn't say that that was an issue. And that has changed so drastically in the last month. Um, that it does seem like they've sort of finally woken up and they're trying to do something about it. Right, so let's, let's talk a little bit more about this reliance on Facebook. Zanga, of course, makes games like Farmville and right. Cityville, these games that a lot of people are kind of addicted to play with their Facebook friends. Right. But that's been both a benefit and a curse to the company, right? Right, no, absolutely. And I think that one of the things that was really scary in this last earnings report is that uh, Zynga said that the overall daily active users of Facebook games. So not just Zynga, but all people playing games on Facebook is shrinking. Um, which means that the pool of people that Zynga can get to play their games is shrinking. And so, and at the same time, the number of people who are using their mobile phones is going up dramatically. And they just don't make the same kind of money off of mobile phones that they make off of Facebook, the website. So this is a existential problem for the company that they really have to try to figure out how to shift away from Facebook to mobile phones. Um, and that's something that, like I said, only recently they really, really started to be aware of and focus on. How does Zynga make money from people who play Words with Friends or Cityville on phones? That's a really good question because, of course, they make money on games like Farmville when people decide to buy virtual goods. Right. On so mobile I pay a phones, few cents for a tractor, for a tractor or, or a cow or something. But on mobile phones, there really isn't that option. Um, and so that is where the company is sort of playing around. So one thing that they do is in between turns, they'll show you an ad. But of course, those ads you know, are not worth nearly as much money as virtual goods on the website. Um, they have also started something called power-ups, where if you want to advance more quickly in a game, you can pay to advance more quickly. To cheat, basically. To cheat, basically, yeah. right. Um, but again, you know, the biggest problem really for Zynga is that people who play mobile games are called casual players, which means that you know, play for a few seconds and then you stop, as opposed to when you're on the web where you're just engrossed for hours and hours and hours. You know, you have this like um, uh, housewife phenomenon where women who would like stay at home all day and just be on Zynga and pay tons of money. Um, and I think they even said like some soap opera went off the air because all of these housewives <laughs> stopped watching the soap opera to now play Zynga games. Um, you don't have that with mobile. And so it's a big challenge for the company. It's a challenge for Facebook too. Um, but, you know, this is something Zynga really needs to focus on. And how important was, was Shepard and are, are they going to replace him? Um, you know, it's kind of a little unclear how important he actually was. I mean, he certainly was important in name. He was the chief operating officer at Electronic Arts. Huge win for, win for Zynga when they got him. Um, that was part of a whole wave of people who left EA and went to Zynga. It's a and big video game company. Video, exactly. Huge, huge video game, console video game company. And um, I think that, you know, one of the things at the time was that it was a sign that Zynga was the future and EA was the past. Um, 
not looking that way anymore. I don't know if EA is the future, but you know, not so sure that Zynga is the future. And so he was only at the company for a year. He came in April last year, so he's leaving in August this year. Very short period of time. Um, it doesn't look like at this point they're going to replace him. Uh, will they maybe change their mind in the future? I don't know. I think that you know people have always thought that Mark Pincus should probably have somebody else helping him on the operation side, but at the same time, it looks like he is very controlling and wants to be in charge. And from what I've heard from my sources, um, that clash is probably part of what made John decide to leave. Okay, that's great. Thanks. Shandy Race, uh, with all the news today from Zanga, I'm Shira Ovide with the Wall Street Journal in San Francisco, signing off.